Morning! Hope you're doing really, really well. As you can see, I am back at home. And for those of you asking for a little tour of my new house, sorry I haven't got around to it. I've kind of hardly been here recently. There's been so much going on, but I will do it if you are keen on seeing where I live and my bike stuff and all that sort of thing, just let me know. Uh, so anyway, today I'm quite excited about opening a big package of new clothes and stuff from Pedal Ed, uh, including some bits and pieces for Migration Gravel Race in Kenya, where I'm heading in 10 days. I can't believe I'm doing it in 10 days. I'm so excited and also very, very nervous. But anyway, Pedal Ed, my lovely clothing sponsors, have sent me over everything I need, so let's have a look at what I've got. <coughs> so, Migration Gravel Race, it's four stages over four days, about 150 kilometers a day, sometimes more than 2,000 meters of climbing, and of course it's all off-road. Uh, it's quite remote. There are um, aid stations from time to time, but you may not be self-sufficient. Um, so everyone has to carry three liters of water. I've gone for this uh, hydration pack that um, Pedalette have very kindly sent over. Looks super cool, like unbelievably light. I don't know what it weighs. I mean, you can basically hardly feel you're wearing it. Obviously I've got no water in it, but um, what I mean is the straps and the whole kind of, it feels amazing. Um, so, show you the back. This I will fill with one and a half litres of water. It's got a reservoir in the back here. What's in the box? Another jiffy. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, it's so nice. Going on. I am so lucky, I can't believe it. Gosh, I'm trying to remember all the names of everything. The essential jersey? Yeah, that's an essential jersey. It is made of merino. It's very light, very soft. I think I might wear that in Kenya. It is lovely. Obviously, women specific. Everything's so nicely folded and I'm unfolding everything. Very lightweight, soft. Um, part merino I think that is and that's another one from the essentials range 67% merino and then it's got some polyamide and elastin in it feels very soft nice and long a lot of women's stuff is too short so I'm glad that's nice and long what is this ah the essentials bib shorts these look good very very soft up the top I get a lot of um shoulder pain if I'm wearing the wrong bibs and they press on my shoulders even I get shoulder pain from wearing the wrong sports bra. If you're riding for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, you just can't have anything that presses there. And so these look good because they are very, very soft. They're also very light. I think they've only got two seams. Yeah, there's just a seam on each side. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh. This is nice. Oh, this is so light and soft. See, maybe I'll wear that in Kenya. Another nice colorway. Loving these colorways. Oh, these! I really wanted these. Really nice Mirai bib shorts. Lovely, lovely, soft, soft elastic straps. Oh, they are so nice. And this is the ultra lightweight women's Mirai bracelet, and we've got a, ooh, lush gilet, super light and airy around the back, but with a windproof layer at the front. Socks, socks, you know what socks look like, don't need to open those. Another cap, loving the camo. And oh, I recognize this jersey because they sent me a sample. This is the women's Odyssey jersey. So it's designed as a kind of cargo jersey so that you can carry lots of bits and bobs easily. This will be great for racing. So you've got a pocket up here and lots of nice pockets at the back and a zippy pocket. It's very lightweight, fine meshy underarms to keep you cool. Another one but in a different colour. What do you think? I wouldn't normally go for brown, but that's actually really nice. Mm-hmm. 
and gloves because um, everyone who's doing migration gravel race has been advised to wear gloves apparently it's really really full on and if you shred your palms or get blisters on the first day then you're screwed so these look good they're the odyssey gloves let me show you a little closer they have got a lot of nice padding there in the palms it's quite thick without being sort of cumbersome I don't know how they've done that they also feel kind of grippy these are cool don't think they're women specific but you know hands are hands aren't they right that's the lot I'm gonna show you the outfits on excited still working out what shoes I'm gonna wear for the gravel race I know that's terrible given that it's in about 10 days but I was kind of let down when I was going to be getting some shoes so I'm dealing with it but um, I will do a video with a rundown of all the kit that I'm taking and everything I need for this race and my final preparations when I've had a chance right now I'm about to go off on that on that five hour bike ride four or five hours I forget which then tomorrow I'm off to ride the East Devon Trail, which is a new bikepacking route that Catherine Moore put, to, put together. I've got a lot of back-to-back -back long rides in the training plan, and so I figured rather than just sort of keep trundling along the same old roads, um, which can get a bit boring, I know I'm lucky to ride a lot, but can get a bit boring, um, the same road in and out of where I live. Uh, rather than do that, I've decided to catch a train to Exeter, and then I'm gonna do the East Devon Trail and stay in the youth hostel and get my miles in that way. So I'll make a video about that, of course. Uh, I better hurry up because I've got to do this riding and I've been farting about all morning not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So that's why I'm late, as usual. Hope you guys are doing really well. Leave me any questions you have about the kit. I'll put some links below so you can check it out on the website. And thank you, Pedal Ed, for all your support. You are awesome. Thanks to you guys too. You're also awesome. See you later. Bye. <laughs>